What's up everyone, back with another video. So today we're talking about the closed grip bench press. Before we go further, let me know if you like this style of content, make sure to like the video. This gets a lower click through rate compared to a lot of my other content. So let me know if you get value from this, if enough people enjoy it and are getting value from it, I will keep making this style of content. If not, then, uh, then I guess I won't. Anyway, on to the close grip bench press. This is a tremendous triceps trasher, and I credit a large amount of my triceps mass to this movement. Unlike most tutorials, which quite frankly are garbage, I will not just tell you how to do the exercise. I will also tell you why you should be doing the exercise, the specific benefits of doing it, the programming, the rep ranges, the muscles worked, specific considerations, mistakes, etc., which I think are all very important when considering the close grip bench press. Now, first, in terms of the muscles worked, it's going to work primarily the triceps, but there is also a good amount of chest and front deltoid activation as well. I would say the primary movers are still the chesticles, but the tricepticons are also getting a good deal of activation. The narrower your grip, the more triceps and the less chest. So if you take a super narrow grip, it's gonna be a lot more triceps when the chest is sort of taken out of the movement. One important thing to realize is that there is no set distance between your hands that is a close grip bench press. I typically go fingers just outside the smooth, so maybe one finger outside of the smooth. Every barbell might be a little bit different, but this is a typical barbell. If you go wider, it is no longer a close grip bench press. It is just, uh, it's just a bench press. Sometimes I go a little bit narrower. This is a little bit more difficult if you have one or two fingers inside the smooth. Wow, that sounds dirty. Don't go super narrow either because that is gonna be very stressful on the wrists and you can't really even lower it all the way to your chest. So the narrowest I would go is maybe three fingers inside, uh, inside the smooth. The narrower you go, the more range of motion at the triceps and the better stimulation you get but if you are getting wrist pain, definitely go a little bit wider. It sort of solves itself. If you go a little bit wider, you can go a little bit heavier, but you can use a little bit more chest as well. So I would say find an area that is comfortable for you. It's gonna be somewhere around just outside the smooth to just inside the smooth and be consistent with that amount. Also try not to fail, not a good look. It's embarrassing, especially if it's in a YouTube video that several hundred or thousand people see. Not a good look, bro. Not a good look. So if you don't have a spotter or a power rack, I would do most sets one to two reps away from failure and don't go to true failure. There's very little benefit in doing that. And honestly, it just looks stupid. In terms of rep range, most of the sets that you're gonna see in this video are singles, doubles, and maybe triples. This is because for me, I'm trying to increase my strength and I find that doing a lot of low rep sets is what is best for me. If you want to get big triceps, however, I would do most of your work in the three to six rep range. This is gonna be more efficient for getting in enough volume. For me, the way I look at it is like this. For higher rep sets, you can do another movement. You can do push downs, you can do overhead extensions, you can use dumbbells, you can do a lot of other movements for higher reps. However, those isolation type movements, you can't really do for low reps. If you're doing sets of three on pushdowns or dumbbell extensions, that is a recipe for disaster. Don't max out on skull crushers. That is just a terrible, terrible idea. So yes, you can do higher reps when it comes to the close grip bench press, but I tend to save that for other exercises just because they have less flexibility. There's nothing wrong with doing sets of 15 to 20 on the close grip bench press, but it might not be the optimal strategy. In terms of technique, I would say try to keep your chest as high as possible. You're gonna to be touching a little bit lower on the chest compared to a normal bench press. You're gonna be tucking the elbows a lot more and you're really going to be touching probably just under the nipple height on the chest. Typically what I will do is I will do a few heavier sets with a slightly wider grip and then a few not as heavy sets with a narrower grip. You can see here, this is 90 kilos with a very narrow grip. I wouldn't go narrower than this just because you run out of room and it tends to stress the wrists 
quite a bit. In terms of programming, if you're a power lifter, this is going to be a bench press accessory. Obviously, no one is going to bench press as much as they can competition bench press. I would say for most people, they're going to be around 80% compared to a wider grip, perhaps 90% if you have very, very strong triceps like I do and a weak ass chest. If you are not a power lifter, you can legitimately use this as a main movement. This is how I do most of my bench pressing. I rarely use a wider grip just because this is more comfortable and I find that I can progress more easily. So it's sort of up to you. If you're not a power lifter, there's no real reason to do a competition style bench press. If you like it, do it. If not, don't feel like you need to do a competition bench press just because power lifters do it as well. It's your own training and it's up to you. It can be customized and flexible to your goals. For example, sometimes I pause the reps, sometimes I don't pause the reps. It's just based on how I feel. And sometimes I will not pause the reps. And then over time, I will gradually get more comfortable with a certain weight and I will pause it longer and longer as I get more comfortable and confident with that weight. I find that for most people, this is gonna have a higher MRV or maximum recoverable volume compared to a wider grip variation. It is less stressful on the shoulder joints Sure, it puts a little bit more stress on the elbows, but those are typically more durable than the shoulders. So I would say for most people, doing 10 or even 15 sets per week on this movement, close to failure, is a perfectly viable strategy. Finally, even though this is an excellent movement, I wouldn't make it your only triceps movement. It doesn't really stress the long head as much as overhead work, so make sure you have some cable overhead extensions or dumbbell overhead extensions. I'll link a video on that as well in a card. All right, that is all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a video, and I will see you in that next video. Peace. Another cool outro with music and videos on the screen that you can watch if you want, but no pressure at all because I'm not that kind of guy and maybe you're really busy and that's okay too. And good Goodbye.